Okay, so this is going to be a walkthrough on the stickless 3x3x7. Now this is easier to solve than a regular stickered 3x3x7 because each layer is made up of one colour. So for example, this we could have a, we could have as our yellow layer and it would be yellow all the way around. This could be our green layer and it's green all the way around, etc. Whereas on this one, each layer is made up of different colours. So we've got blue there, then we've got orange, then we've got green, etc. These two layers, they can be swapped, so we could have this as our pink layer, and this is our yellow layer, or we could have this as our yellow layer, and this is as our pink layer. Also, how we've got orange and green there, this doesn't have to be our green layer, and this doesn't have to be our orange, orange layer. We could have orange up there instead, and green down there instead. doesn't matter what order that they are in. Um, the very outer layers, though, so we've got white there and blue there, we can't have them swapped, so for example, if I tried to make this the blue layer, I could have blue all the way around, but this would still be white, so that's not going to work. So this has to be our white layer, and this has to be our blue layer. So, let's solve this. The first thing I'm going to do is solve it like a 3x3 to make it a functional 3x3x7 again. For example, the way it is right now, it's not a it's not a fully functional 3x3x7 three by three by because for example if I want to move this white away from this green and bring it over to there I can't do because it's blocked by this piece so when I solve this like a 3x3 three three, it's, it's, it's going to unblock everything so let's do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bottom cross and I'm going to put Add these edge trios into the bottom to make the bottom cross. I'm going to choose what colour I'm going to have here as this layer. Um, I'll choose pink since that's already there. I could have it as yellow instead but I'll just go with pink. So I'm going to make sure that each edge trio that I put into this bottom layer has pink there. So let's look for one with pink. We've got one there. So let's put it into there. Like that. And put this into there like that, we'll put this into there, so there's our cross, we've got pink, 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 pink. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the corner trails into this bottom layer. Now. We could just orientate the corner trails that are already in the bottom layer, but it's easier to just put one in from the top and put it in so it is orientated correctly. So for example, let's put this into there, like that. Now it's orientated. So we'll do that with, with all of the other uh, corner trails. So this has freed up these layers now, we can move them. So this is obviously going to be our red layer, so let's put in the, the red edges. So we've got one there, we'll put it into there. And that's our red layer done already, only, I only needed to put in one uh, red edge. Let's make our cross on top, so we've got our, our L shape there. And we've already got all of these corners orientated correctly. If they weren't, it would be like this. This is what usually happens on a 3x3. Three three. So, you know, once you get your cross there, you still need to sort out the uh, the corners. So, let's see. We've got... So, this, like on a regular 3x3, three by, three by three, this would be yellow. And this would be yellow. So, let's just do this algorithm. So you get closer to having the whole top as yellow. So on a regular 3x3 three three, that would be yellow and that would be yellow. That's our soon. So we'll do the algorithm and that will fix all of the corners like that. So now we have a fully functional 3x3x7. Three by three by so <clears throat> I forgot to mention another thing that makes this easier than a regular stick of 3x3x7 is that 
once you've solved these three layers, all of these three layers will automatically be solved as well. You don't actually have to solve them. So, like I said, I chose this to be our pink layer. So what I need to do now is put in the, uh, the pink corners. So let's do that. And then bring this around and put in a pink corner there. Like that. So now we have a full pink layer. Um, so I'm going to choose this to be our orange layer since most of the orange pieces are already in there. I could choose for this layer to be green instead, but I'll go with orange. So let's put in an, an orange piece into there. Uh, let's put in an orange piece there as well. Like that. And all we need to do now to complete this orange layer is to put in an orange corner, which is there. So we'll put that in. So that's our orange layer done. Because of doing that algorithm, you know, because of flipping this around, it's flipped these two layers around. This should be like that. Um, but that doesn't matter, we'll sort that out later on. Um, Strangely, we've got all of these white on what should be the blue layer and all of these blue on what should be the white layer. But, uh, you can see now that I've solved the orange layer, like I said, this layer has automatically solved itself. Um, let's, let's flip this around. So now these two layers are solved. Once again, when I solve this layer, it automatically solved this yellow layer. So... Let's solve this layer, it needs to be white. So let's put in the, the white edges. So let's put in the white corners. So that's our white layer solved, and by doing that, the blue layer has automatically solved itself. So now I just need to flip these, these two, these trios with each other. So let's see, so turn it around like that. Now they're fixed. And so we need to fix these. So move these over to there. Bring these two up to there, like that. And now turn this around and I'll bring these back down. And that is the stickless 3x3x7 solved. Kind of looks like a rainbow. And, you know, like I said, you know, this pink layer, we could have it as yellow instead. We could have all these yellow pieces in there. Um, orange, we could have all the green pieces in there instead. If we had the green pieces in there, that would mean that the orange pieces would automatically go into there. And so on. So, a fairly fun puzzle. Quite a lot easier to solve than the, uh, the regular one. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.